main reason that this happened was because there was a bet with Oit for a cheeseburger. He's Japan Airlines, I'm Ryanair. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you don't say about the 20 minutes? Right, well, I'm down here with uh, Aaron Johnson and Takamoto Katsuta. Lads, first of all, is it cold enough for you? No. You want colder? It's only minus one. Let's get into this. And I have to ask this question because when you look at co-driver driver pairings, the most famous have been two Frenchmen in a car, Oit and Martin, two Estonians in a car. Scott and Elvin both speak the Queen's English. You've got a lad from Northern Ireland and a lad from Japan. How, how on earth did that happen? Oh, you can start. Okay. Uh, 2021, we obviously, I had to find a co-driver in some reason. Um, then light timing. You must timing. have been desperate. You must have really needed a co-driver. You must have been desperate. <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with the job. He just needed the best looking co-driver <laughs> that had the most charm. Okay, this is my time. <laughs> um, so, um, then light timing, like Aaron was also like uh, looking someone for. So I just, a very, very good timing to join everything and timing was great, fantastic. We just started in Rally Finland 2021 and everything is went very well, actually. Our first stage was uh, stage, one. stage win and then next stage... <laughs> oh, oh, Taka! Oh, he's, oh, oh my it's goodness. a heck of a slide! But still we carry on, so... What, was it a bad note? No, no, it was okay. <laughs> no, no, but you didn't understand. <laughs> You thought it was three left, but I said 360. <laughs> the one thing we, we do have to talk about is there is this been, there's been this social clip, which we've all yeah. seen going around. No, I haven't seen it. Okay. It hasn't been sent to me no, it hasn't been sent to you a million no, times, no. 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 So there's a social clip going around with these two lads and it was coming over the jump in El Do you know what? Just have a look at this. Play the video of that Japanese guy. Morning, lad. Japan Airlines. <laughs> yes, lad. <laughs> Go on, Taka, like you're late for a mouse. Burn. Lads, what was going on there? Japan Airlines! Japan Airlines, where did that come from? Tell us the story. It's a bit of an upgrade from Ryanair, so... <laughs> Which is your nickname, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's Japan Airlines, I'm Ryanair. We don't even get to go for Aer Lingus. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, no. Um, you know, this famous jump, like a massive jump on the last end of the stage, and we were talking, we can go flat. I spoke with Oit, like, uh, can we go flat? Everybody said, maybe not, it's too big. But I said, we can go flat. <laughs> I wanted to make sure, like, he wants to go flat or not. Like, before the jump, I asked him that, do you want to go flat before the jump? Yeah. So he said, I don't know why, why he said like that, but then, flat, Japan Airlines. <laughs> yeah, but it was clear, you understood. <laughs> yeah, 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 but I, <laughs> yeah, it was funny. But the main reason that this happened was because there was a bet with Oit for a cheeseburger at the finish in uh, Mexico. Well, he got to the end of the stage and he was like, ah, oh, <laughs> Taka, Taka, like this. Yeah, but all who, these boys are getting old. Who won the cheeseburger? <laughs> We're the youngsters. <laughs> who won the cheeseburger? Us, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what was the communication like? between? Obviously in the car, Taka, you can understand everything that comes out of Aaron's mouth. But when yeah. you get out of the car and he starts talking normally, be honest, can you understand everything he says? Yeah, he's talking very slowly in the car. <laughs> then finally I can understand, but when he's speaking to his friend or somebody like with you, even like you, when you're talking, oh, oh, like 60, 70 percent, I don't understand <laughs> what, what's going on and I'm just, mm, okay, <laughs> like this. So yeah, it's very hard to, but he knows how to speak slowly. So that okay. helps, that helps. Right. Explain the brilliant. Explain this. Yeah, um, when we stuck on the lake in uh, Safari, 2022, okay, like <laughs> we stuck on the very fish fish section, and obviously we cannot move anymore. The first thing what he said, we stuck straight away, he said, oh, brilliant. <laughs> like I was thinking, the brilliant meaning is a positive meaning, if I remember right. And then I was confusing and, okay, we go out and try to get out and, then we'll be coming back to the service after Lecky and I asked the Tom Fowler who is from England. Um, I asked him that what is the meaning of brilliant? It's brilliant, positive meaning and blah blah blah. Why? Because Arnold said this moment. Ah, <laughs> then it's those guys saying like opposite, like meaning, like even positive meaning, sometimes negative. So yeah, yeah. it's sarcasm. Yeah. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. So it's too complicated. To it's too complicated for me. I think it's worth saying as well that when you 
really, when you first came over here, you couldn't really speak any English at all. You have yeah. learned English in the last yes. four, years. four years. And to be yeah. fair, that is incredible. Yeah, uh, it's taken me and you 30 years to try and grasp the language. Yeah, exactly, so. <laughs> exactly. And he's probably, realistically, he's probably yeah. better than us. No. Yeah. no, it's getting more and more, yes. But uh, quite funny that the, all the road section, I'm asking you, like, what is this meaning, this English or something yeah, like yeah. Quite often, after some uh, question after the stage, sometimes I don't understand what it's meaning. Then I ask him straight away, what is that meaning? And then it's good teacher. But it's all been it's all been done as for you to, to build your career in rallying, hasn't it? When you moved over, you had to learn to speak yeah. English. When you were racing carts and circuit racing in Japan, yeah. it wasn't so much of an issue. Yeah. But over here, you've had to. So it has been that extra level of commitment that you've had to put in. Yeah, of course, uh, like English is most important thing to communicate with uh, co-driver, of course, but also engineers and mechanics. And it's very important to find the right setup by communicating by English. So, yeah, it was very hard work in the beginning, but now at least I can understand what you're talking, maybe 50%, so that's good enough. <laughs> just, pull out, just pull out words. <laughs> yeah, exactly, out words. exactly. He has to, like, say easier word. Like, I, I, said, I said to him, like, yeah. what, how much we have time, for example? And he said, approximately 20 minutes. What? <laughs> Why you don't say about 20 minutes? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, it's, 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 it's the same, only different. Yeah, but in the beginning, I've why it's are you using so complicated words? <laughs> like, just say about 20 minutes, that's enough. Okay, about 20, roughly 20 minutes. Well, yeah. 90, about is okay. 19, about is 19 okay. now. Yeah. Yeah. You've been going on about it. Yeah. Let, listen, fellas, honestly, as I said, the whole service park, and not just that, WRC fans, they're all behind you, so we're all rooting for you. Have a great weekend uh, this weekend in Sweden, and um, yeah, we're buzzing to see you on the top step of the podium. It is coming soon. Cheers. Thank boys. you very much. I appreciate I it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.